You can stream multiple websites' audio and send the mix to your Discord voice channel with Kenku FM. Here's how. We'll show you how to use web apps, save bookmarks, make a Discord bot, add a server, and connect to voice chat. Before you start, you'll need to install the Kenku FM desktop app and set up your own Discord account with at least one personal server. Firstly, let's see how to use web apps to get streaming music into Kenku FM. Once you've installed and opened the Kenku application, you'll see that it shows the Kenku Player interface, where you can add locally stored audio files to make your own music playlists and ambient effects soundboards. However, we just want to get some streaming music from a website, so we'll open a new browser tab with a plus button in the top bar. You'll see that the top bar is now split. The Kenku Player remains on the left, and there's a new browser tab on the right. Enter the URL of your chosen website and you'll see it load below. As soon as you start to play any sound from that site, you'll hear it on your computer. Whenever a tab is playing audio, a loudspeaker icon appears next to its name, which you can click to mute and unmute that website. This provides a quick way to include or exclude audio sources in addition to the volume controls found in each website. Let's see how to save bookmarks for your favorite sites. Once you've loaded your websites, you can bookmark them in the left-hand navigation bar by clicking on the plus button there, pasting in the URL and naming the link. To recall these presets, click on the bookmark you want and it will open in a new browser tab. You can open multiple bookmarks in their own tabs and the audio from each of them will be mixed together. You can also log in securely to your accounts on popular media services like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music and YouTube. You can also click on the three dots next to each bookmark to edit or delete them. Next, let's see how to make a Discord bot using their current developer portal. This bot will receive audio from Kenku FM and inject it into your choice of voice channel on your server. Log into the developer portal with your Discord credentials and complete any verification steps required. On the Applications page, you'll see the New Application button in the top right corner. Click on this, then enter a name for your bot, agree to the terms of use, and click Create. Next, you'll see the general information page for this bot, but we'll go straight to the OAuth2 page. Scroll down and find and enable the box that's labelled Bot. Scroll on and find and enable the permissions labelled Connect and Speak. Finally, scroll down to the foot of the page to see the generated URL and click on the Copy button. Now let's add a server to that bot so it has permission to play its audio in your voice channels there. Open the generated URL from the previous step in a new browser tab and you'll be asked which server you want to allow your bot to access. Select your server from the drop-down list and click Continue. You'll be asked to confirm the Connect and Speak permissions, so click on the Authorize button and then complete any verification steps and you'll see a success message. You can reopen that same generated URL again and repeat this process if you want to add your bot to another server. If you open your Discord app now, you'll see your bot is shown in the user list, but it's currently offline. Finally, let's connect to voice chat by linking Kinku FM to your Discord bot. Return to the Discord developer portal and click on the bot page on the left-hand navigation bar. Click on Reset Token, confirm that you really want to do this, and re-authenticate yourself if required. Then you'll see the new token appear. Click on the Copy button to store that token in your clipboard. But while we're here, let's change the bot's icon to use the Kenku FM logo, which is available from the link in the description below. Remember to save your changes here as prompted and then go back to Kenku FM for the last step. Currently in Kenku FM, the only valid output is this computer, but you can click on the Discord link underneath that to get to Kenku settings. At the top of the settings sidebar, there's a Discord token field where you can paste your token, then click connect. After a short time, you'll see a connected status message at the foot of the sidebar, and you can click on the Done button to close the settings. You will now see your Discord voice channels listed by server, just below the default This Computer output. Let's look at these side by side. 
In Discord, you can see the Kenku FM bot is now online. When we open a bookmark, initially we hear it locally, but changing Kenku's output sends it to the chosen voice channel. And we can see that the Kenku bot is now active in that channel. Once you've joined the voice channel, you can hear Kenku's output again, and you can right-click the bot to adjust your own level control for it. You're now ready to host your game with all your favourite music. To learn more about Owlbear Rodeo and Kenku FM, subscribe on YouTube, or click another video to keep watching.